All right, hello boys and girls. It is Tuesday, September 15th already. Um, and we're gonna work on our vocabulary. So if you could grab your vocabulary journal, I'm gonna go ahead and get our camera going. All right, so we're in our vocabulary journal. Go to the second page where we have the word assemble. Let's bring it in a little closer. All right, so we have the word assemble, to put together. So let's go ahead and write down synonym, a word that is similar to the meaning assemble, okay? So build. Build might be one we could do. Oh, I can't wait till we're together and you can give me the answers that you think we should put in here. Another one would be construct. Construct. Possibly make. So if you're going to build something, if you're going to construct something, if you're going to make something, it's the same as you are going to assemble something. So the opposite would be we're going to separate to separate something, to get apart, separate, break, and disassemble. To take it apart. All right, so pause if you need to. Get these words written down under synonyms and antonyms. The only thing left you'll have is your sentences that we'll do tomorrow. Then Thursday we'll do our wow word, and Friday, uh, Thursday we'll do our wow words in our picture dictionary, and then Friday we have a test over the last ten words that we've done. So if you have everything written down, you'll be able to use your book on that test. All right. Turning it over to page three, our next word is grumble, to complain about something in a quiet voice. One of our classmates picked that as their answer for yesterday's question. They like the way that grumble sounds. All right, so to grumble would be uh, similar to saying complain. Complain or whine. You might whine about it, like, oh man, I don't want to complain or whine about something. So the opposite of complaining or whining or grumbling would be to give a compliment. Or praise, like, oh, that is great. I love it. Compliment or praise would be opposite of complaining and whining and grumbling. All right, so pause that if you need to. When you get it done, come back and we're going to go to the next word. Our next word is calculate to determine the answer. So um, words that would be similar or synonyms for calculate would be to solve. You'll solve the problem or determine. You're going to decide, you're going to determine the answer. So an opposite or an antonym for solve, determine, or calculate would be to estimate. It's not exact. It's just around that answer or guess. Guess, oops, excuse me, I'm knocking over our glue stick. To guess or to estimate. All right, so go ahead and pause that if you have to still finish. And when you're done, come back. We're going to go to the word elegant. Something that is high quality and fancy is elegant. A word that is similar 
is fancy. Beautiful. And sometimes expensive. Okay, the opposite of being fancy, beautiful, expensive, or elegant would be to be ugly, which we don't normally talk like that, do we? Ugly or cheap. All right. So if you're elegant, you'll look fancy and beautiful and expensive. And if you're the opposite of elegant, it might look ugly or cheap. All right, when you're finished with that, come back. We're gonna turn it over on page four and we're bringing the word privilege. Someone else in our class I remember said they really liked the word privilege. All right, privileges, a special benefit enjoyed only under special circumstances. So um, it might be an honor, making someone feel special or honoring them or a benefit. We might be holding something for someone else's benefit. Privilege. Um, another thing would be special. Okay. And in the opposite of honor, benefit, special, privilege would to be called an obligation. Obligation is something you have to do, not get to do requirement so they're both big words requirement would be the opposite of honor benefit or special obligation or requirement all right so make sure you have those written down pause the video rewind the video watch it over if you've missed anything um, tomorrow we're going to grab out our book and we're going to start on page two and we're going to write in our sentences using those words in a sentence. All right. Nice job, boys and girls. Come back and say goodbye. All right. So we're going to go on to, um, if you haven't done it already, um, morning work. And um, we have our read aloud and we have spelling still to do. So have a great day.